Nikkor has been in the flashlight business a long time. Like Phoenix and Allite, Nikkor has eked out a pretty comfortable position in the consumer and enthusiast flashlight market, and they have a product continuity that keeps both camps interested and attentive. One way they do this is with continual product improvement, and this is something all the big names in portable illumination do. It's good for everyone because the end result is products that keep getting better and better over time. The S model catapults the MH into the 21st century with features of modern LED. USB Type-C quick charging, and a trick up its sleeve you don't normally see on lights like this. It retains the familiar features of the GTR, with tasteful, modern conveniences to augment usefulness and performance. Nikkor sent one out to test on, so let's see. Like any mainstream brand, you get a really nice package. In fact, Nikkor products can be found in some brick and mortar shops so they need eye-catching graphics and tons of features and specs. The MH40S package doesn't disappoint. Inside the light is nestled in foam, with the accessories neatly stowed in boxes. The charging adapter had its own box, and the holster and other bits were in a bigger box. I really like to see this from mainstream brands, and it's important for non-enthusiast users who don't have chargers, batteries, etc. Everything is included to get up and running. It's an impressive amount of kit for sure and all the accessories seem very high quality. The charging adapter is at L certified, so it's not some generic cheap charger. Very impressive. The Nikkor MH40S is a long-range multipurpose light, also known as the thrower, and there's a lot you can do with one of these. But the short list is long-range searching, hunting, observing, or inspecting. It could also be used as a duty light for law enforcement, first responders, or security personnel who need a long throw duty light. For non-professional users, the MH40S is too big and impractical to be a carry or EDC light, but it would happily be a dedicated long-range spotlight for those times when you don't need 3,000 or even 5,000 lumens. It would be a great companion to holster up and take on a night walk or hike. Nikkor makes nice lights, and they fall somewhere in between Fenix and Allite and Asebeam price-wise. The MH40S retails for about $200 US, and that's not a bad deal for everything you get. Overall, I'm very impressed with the build quality. It just feels premium with great fit and finish, and the machining is very nicely done. The light is made from aircraft aluminum, and the machining is extremely tight. No machine marks, flashing, burrs, nada. The silk screening and laser etching is very well done, and the text is sharp and easy to read. Every surface has been blended and chaffered for smooth, snag-free holstering and unholstering. The finish is type Roman 3HA anodizing, and it seems to be very good quality and durable. I didn't see any issues with coverage, blemishes, or color variations. It is a bit glossy for my liking though and I prefer a more matte finish on these working lights. The batteries did rattle quite a bit in the tube when shaken. Nikkor doesn't hold back the LED particulars of their flashlights, which is nice, and here's where it gets interesting. The MH40 and successor MH40T are both featured Cree LED, the XML2 and XBL, but the MH40S goes a different route with a very different LED. If I hadn't been following the flashlight scene, I'd never have guessed what the heck this thing was but I will immediately recognize this LED. Nikkor calls it the Lumen Engine 9, and it goes by the LE Xining 5050. This is a 3V 5050 size LED, but it's a pretty unique LED in that it features a roundly S covered by a tiny AR coated glass lens. The roundly S is 1.6 mm in diameter, for a total Li S size of around 2 mm too, so it guarantees a very, very nice candela boost. Although Nikkor doesn't specify, we all know it's going to be any tin you want as long as it's cool white. I hope you found this video helpful, it's my pleasure if you were helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment below. Thank you for watching this video.